All right, so in this video we're going to talk about equivalent fractions and how we can manipulate fractions to make our calculations a little bit easier. So let's say that we have um, one whole pizza. If that pizza is now split into two pieces, I still have one whole pizza, but if I now eat half of it, I've eaten one out of the two pieces, and that's called a half. And it means one, and that line means out of the two pieces. Now if I then took that pizza and I split it into four pieces, but rather than eating one out of the two, I now eat two out of the four, two out of the four, are those two fractions the same? Well, yes they are. What's happened is, is that that two out of four is exactly the same as one out of two. And the way we do that is we look at the way we can multiply or divide the fractions in order to make them equivalent to each other. So let's take an example. Let's say I have three out of six. Well, if I have three out of six pieces, I can then divide the top and the bottom by three because both numbers are related to each other. So if I divide the top by three, I get one. And if I divide the bottom by three, I get two. So that gives me one out of two. In other words, half. OK, so that, the reason this is used is we can use this a lot in multiplication, addition, subtraction and division of fractions. Now let's look at something perhaps a little bit more sophisticated. Let's say that I have a fraction which is 5 out of 20. So what number can I divide the top and the bottom by in order to make my fraction smaller? And easier to manage. Well that number would be 5. So if I, multiply, if I divide the top by 5 I get 1. If I divide the bottom by 5 I get 4. So in other words the equivalent fraction to 5 over 20 is 1 out of 4 or 1 quarter. So whenever we're working with fractions, look for numbers that we can divide into the top or bottom or multiply into the top or bottom to make our calculations a little bit easier.